my name is Georgia. This is Kieran and this is the light of our lives, Arlam. For the last five years, we've been hiking, wild swimming and wild camping all around Wales, England and Scotland. Recently, we've decided to begin a new challenge and that is to climb all 188 of Wales' highest mountains. So subscribe to keep up to date with all of our adventures. This weekend we have swapped Hewitts and Nuttles for Wainwrights, which means we're in the Lake District. expected but now we've literally just dropped our stuff in and now we're heading straight to the pub because we are celebrating this one finishing <laughs> uni Woo! finishing uni finally four years I'm gonna say of our lives even though I didn't do the degree and uh, it's all over which is amazing he finished the middle of this week and it is definitely worth celebrating because let me tell you just watching him do this degree part-time a long full-time job was painful enough let alone doing it myself so we're gonna go and celebrate that and yeah plan out the mountains that we intend to do this weekend but for all my Aldi friends um, this stuff is amazing peach mango and lime I highly recommend we just got back from a lovely meal it was like really big portion like homemade pub food so feeling a bit stuffed but well worth it had a fabulous brownie so now it's still like we've got in a nice sunset over here which is cute so yeah, it's just going to be a very chilled out night for us tonight before we get hiking tomorrow, which I'm really excited for. I just cannot wait to explore the lakes more. So far, so good on this Airbnb. The Shepherd's Hut is cute. It's quite small. We're only here for three nights, kind of a base more than anything. And the weather holds out. We'll be spending most of our time outdoors anyway. It is quite literally somewhere to sleep, you know, make coffee, things like that. However, there is a little camping toilet in here that... I'd rather not use to be honest because then we have to empty it ourselves but let me just show you where the field is okay so this is the field obviously this is the hut all the way across the field over here over here sorry is the toilets so as you can see not ideal if you're desperate will not be going obviously across in the night just have to cross my legs i guess <laughs> oh, i'm gonna leave this vlog where it is for tonight so that we can get right into the hiking stuff tomorrow which is i know what you are really here for so i will see you in the morning Good morning. The Lake District is looking lovely today. It's supposed to be very cloudy for now. It's sunny. We are now off to our hike for today. And unlike when I'm in Wales, I never say the mountain names because I truly just cannot comprehend or pronounce them at all. 
but we're in England, we're in the lakes. So today we are going to climb High Style and Red Pike. And then hopefully we're gonna head over to Scale Force Waterfall. So that's our plan. It should be about 11.5K when we have hiked here before in the past. As I say, it's only been uh, twice I think we've done the lakes. However, it was really rainy and cloudy. So it, we should get some good views today. trust car parks it's a little bit busy it's only 20 past nine but obviously it's bank holiday weekend we were expecting it to be busy i have had some snowdonia versus lakes bias and when we've come to the lakes i guess we've probably just never stayed in not that they weren't beautiful areas just maybe not the most mountainy not the best areas that are here and let me tell you driving through we've just been like wow like very like Owen Wilson wows. Now Kieran has just arrived with our parking ticket and then we'll be off on our hike for today. I've barely slept. I never really sleep very well. The bed is so comfy and like it was pitch black in there. It's just I don't really sleep very well on the first night so I've got to be honest the thought of this hike right now is not that appealing to me but obviously we want to see and do as much as we can while we're here so i've packed a red bull we've just got to hope for the best because i am feeling pretty tired i can't even really comprehend the thought of climbing a mountain but i'm just gonna have to get over it and get into it did the map for it. I just had to Kieran, you navigate it today. It's all done because uh, then I can just focus on filming. And now I'm walking through a pine forest off the track because we're not even a kilometre in and he's missed where we were supposed to go. Honestly, oh my God, this is so steep as well. lot warmer than we were expecting today it said it was going to be cloudy and five degrees up here so i put a fleece on and a long sleeve t-shirt and now i'm roasting but it is a beautiful day so so happy that this is actually the weather we got this gigantic lump of rock it probably doesn't look as intimidating as it does as we stand here is high crag and we are not actually going up there today it would be an easy bag because of the route that we're doing because then we're going to high style and red pike just have not got that in us it would add an extra 3k on we're not about that today don't know what's wrong with us we are feeling very tired and very unfit 20 minutes later i absolutely just tried to bail this entire walk we've just sat for about 20 minutes um have had to call it quits i'm just to be completely honest with you, I've not been eating right and I've not been to the gym pretty much consistently this year. I've dabbled in some body pump and some spin, but nothing, nothing major. So um, I feel weak and this is quite a steep ascent. The last couple of weekends I have been feeling it and thinking, God, you are not where you used to be. So we just sat and went and rebel and I was like, do I just do this lake walk here instead because I don't know, my mindset's not even that good for this mountain. I was all all smiles this morning and then as I say as soon as we started going up I just I can feel it in my body. I just feel so weak and then that makes me feel um demotivated I guess and I think half the battle with hiking is your mind sometimes of what you can do. 
So I've decided to just suck it up and keep going. Um, I'm also, like I said at the beginning, really tired because I didn't sleep very much. And when I don't get my sleep, I'm like a whole level of horrible person. We're gonna attempt to make it up here. So I'm not as all smiles as I usually am today. It's because I am uh, truthfully hating this. I'm having a good time. I'm having a rough go with it on this walk, honestly. The food, it's, not, it's improved my mood. It's not giving me any energy, unfortunately. <sighs> I could easily just give up. Kieran likes a challenge. Summit is in sight. Thank the Lord, baby Jesus. Finally done high style. Um, the views up here, my eyes are watering, um, are incredible. All the way up, we've had pretty good weather. I mean, it was really hot at one point. And I was like, oh my God, we're gonna be able to get the drone out at the summit. It's gonna be the most amazing drone footage we've ever got, because just completely surrounded by mountains here. As I say, as we've gone higher and higher, more and more mountains just pop up that you can see. So it's just absolutely incredible, but I'm just sheltered by this rock right now. However, the wind has been pretty awful at the top here. Are you proud of me that I actually made it, Kieran? Honestly, touch and go down. I really, on, I could not explain how much. The only time it felt like that is when we were doing Ben Nevis, like the highest mountain in the UK, after we just done eight days of hiking across Scotland and Sky, and I just felt like a broken woman. That's how I felt then, like mentally, I just thought I can't get past this, but here I am at the summit. Who would have thought? Oh yeah, if it wasn't for you. <laughs> and his threats. <laughs> so, yeah, off to Red Pike we go. I've arrived. Look at that cloud as well. It's starting to spit. Against all odds. Are you done? Red Pike. There's not actually a trip point, unfortunately. It's just this, you know. Yeah, but we, we actually made it. So that's two. One more to go. random palaver we've had so the weather's turned now as you can see pretty rainy and where we're staying there's not a lot around yeah, it's just like a little village it's cute it's got a pub but we ate there last night we've brought food to cook with and like our camping cookers for the whole time as we always do whenever we go anywhere but it's raining and there's kind of nowhere to cook or put a camping stove like any everything's wood and it would obviously just burn it so we've ended up having to drive into this random tiny village with this one chippy in it what was it like when we walked in there when we walked in it was like they'd just local seen a ghost it was a yeah, local chippy for local people like we walk and i walk in there in my pink crocs green leggings and tie-dye fleece and they were like so obviously they don't see people probably from out of there and it is by chance that we found that so chippy it is we never really eat chippy so i guess it's a bit of a treat so we're just going to take this back to the little hut now and then probably have a shower put the little log burner on in the hut and maybe watch like a film on the laptop and just 
hopefully get a good night's sleep tonight. I'm so, so tired. My head's completely gone as well as my legs. So, um, goodbye for now. this rock with some absolutely gorgeous views in front of me so now seems like as good of a time as any to say good afternoon it's not a good morning because it is probably about half one two-ish now but a really late start to today we have just parked up in Great Wood, about to do a little bit of a walk to go see Lodor Falls. We probably thought that we would be able to do some more mountains this weekend, but our legs are completely destroyed after yesterday. I'm gonna take it easy today and go and do a little lower level type walk, and then we're actually going home. So we do have our Airbnb booked until tomorrow, but unfortunately, I don't know if I look it on camera, but I'm absolutely exhausted. Haven't slept properly in two nights. The bed at the Airbnb, it's so comfy and so cozy, but the wind last night, like the weather just completely changed. I never sleep very well the first night when we get somewhere anyway, but the wind and rain just battering on that little shepherd's hut last night just meant that I just, I'm a light sleeper, I just couldn't take it. So um, I'm feeling very exhausted and I just need sleep before I start work again in the week. So yeah, take it easy today. And then we'll be heading home. Salute so scenes behind me here. I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting to be honest from this walk, but um, I guess because we sort of started at a forest, I didn't think that we'd be able to see across the lake like this. underestimated just how far from the Greatwood car park it is to Lodor Falls at least on the route that we were going to do and to be fair we have stopped on a viewpoint to eat our dinner we're not going to be making it to Lodor Falls however just come down from Ashness Bridge and there's some falls there and we've gone back into the wood and we're going to follow the river stream like down with the waterfalls I think there's another little one to see so even though we haven't made it to Lodor it's absolutely fine because overall this has still been a lovely little walk to finish off our trip. We've not got enough time on the parking either. We only caught two hours and uh, yeah, we are not far from using that up. So we just need to head back now. We started to head downstream of the river and come across a gorgeous little waterfall but it was inaccessible so we decided to scale a fence, tackle some branches and head down for a closer look which was well worth it. we ended up walking the shore of Derwent Water back to the car park and despite being just over our parking we were fine free. This weekend really opened our eyes up to just how much the lakes has to offer and I can't wait to come back and see more but for now after the year the caravan and the shepherd's hut we're a little bit staycationed out and I'm just looking forward to getting back to doing some day hiking and wild camping in Snowdonia. 